morning so it's day two and today i'm going to drive from cochin adi ampezo to lava di kador Dolomites. The best thing to do is do a lot of hikes because it's like full of so many hiking trails. For example, just outside my hotel, you can see that we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow! So many hiking trails. So let's try one because we don't have a lot of time. Well, let's do a short one first. the first few minutes of the drive leaving cortina small town that's the whole cortina town on my back so i came the hill up approaching salva di cador then we'll be going towards cortina from cortina to lava di cador or something so this spot calls for the drone So the first waypoint for today is Lake Misurino already crossed Faloria, Labarido, Cortina, Cortina di Ampezzo, Cortin. Man, those names. Anyway, so maybe more 15 or 20 kilometers to go for Lake Misurino. Let's drive. So just read localita paso dri tri coqui and here is one of the most famous trail hiking trail in the Dolomites that is the Refugio al Sorapis. It's like five kilometers. I'm not going to go that long because I'm all alone. Not safe as well. So I'm just gonna go for maybe 500, 600 meters. Look from top of the hill. Come back. Let's do the small hike. So just reached Lake Misurino and you can see the whole space. It's almost frozen. The next waypoint is Alvarenzo, mostly like 30 kilometers from here. Let's drive. Just 
just approaching Alvarenzo, more 25 kilometers to go for it. <sighs> Last 20 or 30 kilometers has been nice. A lot of corners again, but the roads are absolutely neat. This is the SR48, I guess. If you're taking a route from Cortina di Ampezzo to uh, Lavarido La Feborita, uh, you have to take this route because there are like two different routes, and this is the route which actually I liked, and this was suggested by the hotel front office girl as well. So I have been liking this route, anyways. So yeah, let's drive. Alright, so finally managed to get the clean, plain drinking water. 1.5 liters, this costs around 3 euro, like 8, uh, 300 bucks I guess. And there is one rule, if you want to buy plain water here in Italy, you have to, uh, they have like two options, carbonated water and then natural plain drinking water. So when you go to the store, Normally people don't understand English, so you have to tell them natural water. If you just tell them drinking water, they're going to give you carbonated water, which just sucks. I almost bought like 10 euro, 800 bucks of water and I had to throw all of them because I cannot drink carbonated water anyways. So went ahead and got this natural water, plain drinking water. So yeah, just keep the word in my natural drinking water while in Italy. Alright, so just reached Alfarenzo di Cador, went ahead and filled the fuel 230 kilometers or 250 kilometers so far and the mileage somewhere around 10. Per litre it's somewhere around 140 or 150 rupees I guess. More than India I know, but yeah, should be fine. Let's drive. Finally reached the hotel and here is the room tour, where to sleep, table to edit, everything set up and right, perfectly fine. And this is how a Italian B&B looks like, it's small, cozy and just with basic features like bed, table, TV, a small TV of course, cupboard, well, that should be it and one heater all the time because most of the time it's cold, super cold. Alright, so I will just go ahead, have some food and sit with the edit, so I will see you guys tomorrow.